Hey guys, so um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me because I did one on Instagram um, like last week and I was like, I forgot how much fun I have doing my makeup. So, <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. Um, so, I am going to do a little get ready with me today. Um, I asked you guys some questions, um, if you had any like questions on Instagram or just things that you've been curious about, so um, I'll kind of like talk on those as I go along. Um, so the look I'm going to do today, um, I did it this past weekend and I really liked it and it wasn't too hard so I was like, oh, I'm going to like recreate that and show you guys because it's one of my new fave go-to looks, I think. We'll see. Okay, so I touched on this in my Instagram lot or not live story um, but this is what I use for skin prep it is the live skin Nashville shine bright vitamin C serum and I've honestly like this is one of those serums that um, takes a while before you see the results but um, I can definitely say I've seen them I've been using it for a few weeks it literally smells like orange juice too which, I mean, hello, that makes sense, because vitamin C. Also, apologies for, like, this weird, like, it's, like, half my kitchen, like, half my island thing happening, but I'm going to get, like, a permanent setup here pretty soon. But for now, <laughs> this is what it is. Okay, next, um, again, to kind of, like, set everything, I'm going to use this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyalur Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. And this stuff, I'm obsessed with. It's so glowy and so pretty. So, it kind of, like, I use it as, like, my moisturizer, but, like, it also helps your makeup stay. All right. So, we've got that all <laughs> on. So, next, I'm going to use some eyeshadow primer. No, oh, I'm so upset because um, I need more of this, um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and they had it on the 21 days of beauty and I missed the day so could have gotten it for like 12 bucks instead of 24 I'm still upset about it I did go to Ulta today because I needed a few things including a new makeup sponge so hands down these are my faves real techniques I love the flat side because it lets you like actually, I don't know, it's just easier to work with. Okay, so I've really been into, which is like super weird, but like whatever, um, putting concealer on top of my eyes as like another primer, just because I think it looks better and it makes the colors brighter. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Probably like super unnecessary, but I like the way it looks. And again, like I do these videos for fun. Like I'm, I in no way consider myself like a professional makeup artist. I just show you guys what I do. So okay. So next, um, I'm going to do a white base all over, just because. Um, so I've like really been paying attention to like when I get my makeup done, um, what the makeup artists do, and this just kind of like makes the colors blend out better, and um, makes them look better, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the more you build, the more, or the better it looks, so. Alright, so I saw a question on my Instagram. Um, someone said, how do you split your time between Nashville and Memphis? Um, honestly, it's really not that difficult. I just go to Nashville when I need to be, and when I don't need to be, I am here in Memphis. Um, but, I mean, sometimes, like, it's definitely, like, a quick, like, a quick turnaround, but, like, I, I signed up for that, and it's, um, it's not that long of a drive people think Memphis is like further away than it is from Nashville so it's like a two and a half hour drive um which I love driving like ever since I was you know able to drive myself I would literally just leave the house 
at night because I wanted to like drive the car. So um, it's actually really nice for me. I like it because like nobody can really talk to me. <laughs> it's like my time to like recharge. So I get to, you know, listen to some podcasts, listen to music and it's like my me time. So like, I really don't mind it. Um, but yeah, God, I'm gonna watch this back and be like, you say um and like way too much. All right, <laughs> so next um, I'm gonna tape. Again, this is like when I do other people's makeup, I rarely tape them. Um, but for myself, I for some reason just like need the tape. I think it's because I get a little, like it's myself so I'm not paying as much attention as I should and I just kind of like go at it. All right, so this whole look is with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Um, so yeah. If you have that, then this look is the one for you. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna use the brush that it came with because I really like this big fluffy end a lot. It's really good for putting makeup or eyeshadow on in the creases. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Burnt Orange. That's my first color. So another question I got, um, someone said, why did you decide to get lit fillers? Um, you were so beautiful before. Well, first of all, thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, but I didn't really like decide to get them. Um, the first time I went in to get my under eyes filled, um, there was like a little leftover in the syringe and he put it in my lips. And the thing about filler is it's like so temporary that I was like, if I hate it, like they can dissolve it like right there on the spot. So I was like, fine, like, let's just try it. Like there's only a little bit left, you know, whatever. And I ended up loving it. So, you know, like I might not like it forever, but it's temporary. Everything I get is temporary. I could never do anything to my face that was like permanent because that would just freak me out. I have anxiety, hello. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna go in with is the Sienna, which is the one right next to it. And I'm gonna do kind of the same thing, but not as high up. And this, like, don't worry about getting it in the white because we're gonna go back over that in a second here. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, you can be kind of sloppy with it. So someone else asked, um, why did you guys decide to go back to pop? Well, basically we realized that all of the music we were listening to was pop and we were feeling really inspired by pop music again, which it's been a very long time since we felt that. And then we got introduced to Austin and Jake, who are the guys in um, Behavior who produced our whole album and we were like, oh my gosh, like this is such a godsend. Like God literally put them in our lives because he was like, you need to be making pop music again. Here's the tools to do it. So Liz and I were like, all right, let's do it. And then all the songs just like wrote themselves and we were just so excited. And we were like, what better time to go back to pop than when we're feeling so confident and so excited about it again. So that's why we decided to go back pop. So next I'm gonna go in, let's see. I'm gonna use the other side of the brush that came with it actually, the good brush. Um, and I'm gonna use the mulberry color and I'm gonna just put this kind of like in the corner more dark in the corners. Okay. So now we have this shadow thing happening. Um, now for the middle, this is the part that I'm like, it, I love it so much. Um, where's my, I need the right brush. Please hold. Okay, so I'm just taking like a flat shadow brush and um, this is like key to making this work look, in my opinion, is using setting spray like on the brush. So I'm spraying it like 
getting it decently wet. And then I'm using the sultry color, which is like this, sh sorry, it like exploded so I can't like hold it up. Um, but it's like this shimmery kind of mauve color and that's what I'm gonna put in the middle. not like black dark I don't know I really like it <laughs> okay so now I'm just gonna kind of like blend it out a little bit more okay so now we have the shadow done so I'm gonna take the tape off. All right. So now, foundation time. Um, literally guys, I know I sound like a broken record, but this is the best foundation primer. Um, it's it just like, it. nothing moves under it. Like, and I've said this before, like I have combination skin, so like I get oily when it's hot and I can get um, dry in the winter and I can use this primer all year round. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. So yeah, I have like yet to find a primer that I like more than this. It's just, and like, I know like the, the term like radiance throws people off cause they're like, oh, I don't want to look oily, but like it doesn't make you look oily. I'm not about that life. Um, so now for foundation, <laughs> Um, I've really been liking this Revlon Candid foundation. This stuff is pretty dang awesome. I'm turning like all my friends onto it because I just think it's awesome. So I'm gonna use like two pumps of that. And then um, again, I don't know why, like I've never been one to mix foundations, but I really like this combo. So I'm gonna use like one and like a half pump of this Naked Skin by Urban Decay, which this stuff is also really good. It's a really good summer foundation. I think that the, the reason I like the combo of the two is because the Revlon, to me, is closer to a full coverage, um, but the Naked Skin is more medium, so if I use a combo of the two, it's like I have to use less of the Urban Decay because I have to use a lot when it's just that because it's so medium, which is fine. I just prefer full coverage. So something exciting about Muse is that I'm gonna spill some tea here. Um, we have not one feature, but two on this project, which I'm super excited about because we've never like put out an album or like an EP for that matter, like with a feature. Um, we've been featured on songs before, obviously the um, plug-in stereo song, but like, like we were featured on that, but we've never actually featured people. So Liz and I are very excited about that. And a lot of you guys like are saying it's really similar, the cover art to the That Ghost cover art, which like it is, like we literally, we're looking back at our pictures and we were like, we should like do that better because we literally took that in our living room with like a fog machine and we were like, we can make that better. And it really just like fit with the vibe and we wanted to do more like white as opposed to dark. So that's why if you think it looks similar, it's because it was inspired by the That Ghost cover art. <laughs> So, next, concealer. So, I'm gonna use this Hello Fab Bendy um, First Aid Beauty Concealer. Love this stuff. Um, this stuff's my favorite because it blends out so pretty. It also does a really good job at staying where it's supposed to. brightness under my eyes um, I'm gonna use that same concealer that I put on my under or my 
eyeshadow lids, jeez, <laughs> which is the Urban Decay All Nighter concealer, and I use the um, like a lighter color in this one. It's Fair Neutral. Half my makeup, I feel like I'm just blending like the entire time. All right, so now I'm going to set everything I just did with this Hourglass Veil translucent powder. Now this, um, not gonna lie, like it, it definitely like pained my soul a little bit to spend this much on um, <laughs> setting powder, but um, I'm realizing that setting powder lasts me like a really long time, so hopefully this one does. Um, ugh. I just really, really, really like the look of it though. It really is like a nice like airbrush finish. So now I'm gonna go in with some powder and a powder brush and do the areas that aren't set with this hourglass translucent powder. Um, I'm just kinda do that. I, I talked about this on my Instagram story too. Um, I've been using Revlon Photo Ready literally since high school and I always go back to it. I'm like a really, really big fan of Revlon face products. They're all really, really pretty, in my opinion. And this is one of them. Okay, so I just went back and looked at some more questions that I had. Um, and someone said, um, can you still do pop music from Nashville or do you think you'll go back to LA? And the answer is, loved LA for the time I lived there, but I really feel like I've done that chapter of my life. <laughs> um, so I can't ever see myself moving back to LA. Um, maybe if it was for like like a set amount of time, like six months or something, um, but I really feel like I've done LA. So the answer is yes, we can do pop music from Nashville and we are going to. <laughs> okay, so at Ulta today, this really sucked me in. It's the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. And I don't know why, like I liked Dip Brow and I needed new brow gel. So I was like, maybe I'll try it. So I bought it. Let's see. This is literally like a first, first impression. Makes me a little nervous, but okay. So I got the color dark brown. Let's see, Let's see how this goes. Wait, I think I love it. Oh, okay, that's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but <laughs> this little mishap right here, <laughs> so noted. Man, I don't know how I feel about this. Nope, I don't know. Okay, let's try the other one <laughs> before I decide. Okay, no, absolutely not. I hate this. That, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not, returning that, look at this. In what way, shape or form would I ever wear my eyebrows like that? That's not, that's a no for me. That's a definite miss. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> okay, so before I write this product off completely, um, I'm gonna try and like fill in my brows with shadow and then put it on top, see if that works. Um, but it's definitely not like an alone thing cause that was just a train wreck. So, <sighs> all right. <laughs> I think it definitely looks better on top. I'm still, it's like, it's just so unforgiving. That's the issue for me. 
I really don't I really don't know how I feel. It's like fine on top, but it's like it's like if you get it anywhere where it's not supposed to go. Like I'm like having to go back and fix this. And even that, like, it still looks like I don't know. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's like like this, like like these parts. <laughs> like here. Like on the top. And it's just it looks like it's also it also made my brows like way 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 darker than I wanted them to. So you know, I think that I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. That's a bummer. So now my brows are gonna be outrageously dark all day. It's fine. It's fine. So now I'm gonna contour my hula bronzer. really upset like I was like really excited to try that but that's probably why I haven't heard anything about it because <laughs> all right now I'm gonna go in and highlight so this is the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette again I've really been liking this so I'm gonna take the PSA and I'm gonna put that like underneath my brows and kind of like blend out my shadow a little too while I'm at it. So now for blush, this is the new Buxom blush. Um, I really like it, it's really pigmented. This is the color Ibiza. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really into this blush. Okay, now I debated on whether or not I wanted to do a wing today and I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna line the top and then put fake lashes on. So I'm going to use this Il Maquillage liquid liner. Um, I really, really, really like this one because it's really, really sharp. Super pointy, which is great. <laughs> even though I'm not doing a wing, but it also goes on really smooth. Oh, also guys, I just finished um, Haunting of Hill House and oh my gosh, I loved it. Like I don't usually like, like I used to really like scary things when I was younger, but I don't really like them anymore. But this one was so good. If you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. It's just incredible. And now I'm watching the act on Hulu, um, which I really like so far. And I just finished Barry on HBO, which I really liked that too. So I've got the liner on. Now, I'm gonna cut these. So these are the um, Kiss Nap. Like I found these on clearance, and I'm like upset because if that means they're gonna discontinue them, I love these. Um, they're the flirty kind, and it was five pairs for $11.99, which into that. So while that glue is drying a little bit, I like to wait like a minute so that it sticks better. Um. I'm going to go back under my eyes with that original brush that I used to do the shimmer and it should be still like a little damp and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, sorry, didn't finish my sentence. Blend that out. My waterline, I think I'm gonna do a purple just because I feel like it. So this is the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil in, I believe this is alkaline? No, vice, sorry. Don't know why I felt like doing purple. It's just fun. <laughs> okay, so now my lashes have been drying long enough, I think. I'm gonna pop these on. I just think these are so pretty. They're like big, but not like obnoxiously big. 
They look like maybe they could be natural, but like probably not. I've decided that for the summer, I think I'm going to get my lashes lifted because the only reason I wear fake lashes with my makeup is because my real lashes are so straight that like no amount of curling them or mascara keeps them up. So I'm gonna try and get them lifted and see because obviously I would love to not have to wear fake lashes every single day. Okay, so while we do that, or while that's drying, I guess, got this new NYX pencil, because sucked me in. Looks like a really pretty pink color. So, this is in the color Brunch Me. <laughs> I like that. So I'm just gonna line my lips. Okay, so for lip color, I'm doing this Il Maquillage Matte Liquid Lip in Matte Glory. This is, I keep talking about it, it's like my absolute new favorite nude. Um, and since we've got kind of a dark eye going on, the reason I like this nude so much is because it goes on this kind of like regular nude, but when it dries, it's like this really, really pretty pink nude. So now for mascara, while my lips are drying, um, this is the Revlon Volumazing uh, mascara, which huge fan of. Revlon products, like, like really, like that's probably as a whole like my favorite drugstore line. I really like a lot of what they do. Okay, so last step, I'm going to put my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Hold it all together. And voila, this is the finished look. Um, apologies about the uh, brows, the state of my brows, don't judge those too hard, but um, yeah, that was a very honest first impression review of that product. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'm super excited, Take Me comes out next week. Um, and then uh, Muses, our new pop EP comes out May 3rd, so. Gotta shamelessly plug that. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I love you.